what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful to all those who have been watching my videos thank you so so much i really appreciate you all and if this is your first time do me a favor click the red subscribe button down there so we can grow this channel together so guys in a previous video i showed you the very bad mistake that i made to the radiator of my 2019 honda cb 500x if you haven't seen that video I'll link it up there. You can click in the pop-up banner and see what the problem was and how it happened. In this video, I'm going to show you the, uh, the tool that I bought. I referred to that tool in the previous video and I have the tool here with me now. So I'm going to show you the, the tool that I'm going to use to straighten the radiator fence. I also bought a uh, radiator guard to protect the radiator from any future such accidents so let me quickly go and show you the tool and the radiator guard that i bought all right guys so this is the tool that i bought mainly used for correcting bent radiator fins so it comes in this simple package you just snap this paper out and it's got this screwdriver handle sort of uh, end I've never seen anything like this. It's not a screwdriver, but it's got a screwdriver handle. And this is the main tool itself. So what it does is it's got different measurements for different sizes of automobile or motorcycle radiator fins. So you just have to fit it into your particular radiator and see which one is the best size uh, for it because they have different, different measurements. These ones are kind of wider, even wider and even I think this is the biggest the widest that you can have and then it goes down smaller smaller ones up down here and i believe this tool is threaded in here like this so that you can hold it like so and maybe drag it down you fit it into the radiator fins pick the right size fit it in and you can drag it up and down like so so you can uh, properly align the bent radiator fins so um, that's the first tool that I'm going to use to correct the radiator fins that are bent from that incident. And I also bought the radiator guard, what some people call rad guard. And it comes in this packaging. So this is how it look. looks. Looks like very nice titanium metal. It's not heavy, but it's tough. It, it doesn't bend easily. I'm trying to bend it it won't bend easily and it's got the cb500x um, sort of embossed on it and it's already set up for the cb500x so you can see the mounting points one two three four right here it also came with some it also came with some sort of a tape I don't know if it's, it's some kind of a heat tape maybe something to give it a buffer between the the radiator and the radiator guard and it also came with all these screws and spacers and washers that are going to be used for for the mounting process so that's about it i'm going to first of all use this tool to straighten the bent radiator fins um, this tool only cost me about $1.50, so that's like $1.5. And this radiator guard, the complete assembly, uh, cost me about $12. Um, the equivalent of Chinese RMB, it's about $12. So these are not very expensive, but definitely upgrades that are very necessary considering what has happened to my radiator. So let's go ahead and do the correction the straightening of the radiator fins and uh, the installation of the radiator guard so i'm going to use a screwdriver to try to uh, move the radiator fins a little bit just to straighten them a little bit and then i'll complete the repair process with the tool Some parts are really badly damaged, but with some patience, can get in there and get them all fixed. So I guess if I can just grab 
one side of each column maybe the top or the bottom just enough to allow for the tool to be able to fit then I can drag it top up and down up and down to get them straightened up so uh, it looks like I can't get it completely straightened out like original but like I said as long as the radiator still works perfectly I think I'll just go ahead and inst install the radiator guard so let's go and take a look at that process so it's going to go on like so and as you can see the mounting points fit perfectly and when I move the handlebar it's not touching anything right here and here as well there seems to be no problem so it looks like it will fit it is the right purchase so I'll just go ahead and start uh, undoing bolts with my allen keys okay so the first bolt is off I'm gonna put it aside go for the other one which is right here this one is easy to reach from here it's very easy to undo these bolts it means it's the torque setting for this one will be very very light and for something like this you don't really need a torque wrench just don't tighten it too much and you'll be good to go yeah I can see it, it's being held on here by this bigger bolt here so it shouldn't be a problem if I undo all the four bolts fingers crossed okay that's the third one and do the fourth one as well very very light don't go too crazy on these they don't need that much force to undo okay so this one's down the last one just gonna turn the wheel and the steering away so that's it very easy taking off and let's just see so as you can see with this particular rod guard this one doesn't this mounting point doesn't meet the original mounting point so that's why this spacer is provided so it can act as a a, a bridge between the two mounting points and then we'll go in there with a longer screw which is going to replace the original one that came off the bike so I'm just going to grab a washer to go with it all right I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit I need a smaller Allen key for this replacement one just a little bit to hold it on there okay that will do for now so from the way it's looking it doesn't look like this thing is necessary this tape is necessary to create some sort of a, a buffer because the rod guard itself is not going to it's going to be mounted to the mounting points but no part of it is touching any other parts of the of the motorcycle or the original radiator so it looks like it's meant for another configuration and this was given just in case you wanted to use it but i don't see any use of it so i'm just going to keep it aside and um, get on with the installation a shorter washer goes to this part just tighten a little bit just enough to get it on there my third washer so as you can see it doesn't go flush with the mounting point that's why this shorter spacer is needed so I'm just gonna thread in my screw into a washer 
the spacer goes in the middle and then it's mounted on that's looking good and then as this one is flush to the to the mounting point the washer wasn't provided so it all makes sense now and this screw is shorter as well because it doesn't need that much travel to mount onto starting to hold nicely yeah and when I hit it even before tightening it up I don't feel any vibration so just gonna go in a diagonal pattern just to get them tightened I'm not gonna go too crazy just because these are going onto plastics so you don't want to tighten them too hard so if you look there guys it looks really nice and I like it the way it is let me know in the comments what you think and what right guard you have used for your Honda CB500X alright guys so that's the end of this installation thank you for sticking around I'm truly grateful and I hope you learned something from this if you're looking for a reason to install a radiator guard on your Honda CB500X just know that even just water can damage the radiator fins on your Honda CB500X and any motorcycle for that matter how much more stones and debris maybe I should have done this a long time ago when I got the bike but hey it's not too late so thank you once again for watching if this is your first time hit the subscribe button to help this channel grow and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any like the video and share the video and hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video you'll be one of the first to be notified. Thank you once again for watching till I see you in the next video guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.